Hi everyone, Morgan from the Assist Agency. Today we're just going to touch on um, importing your existing data into Monday. Um, obviously when setting up a new OS system it can seem quite overwhelming. If you've already got a ton of data stored um, in different places and majority of the time we can find that they're in Google Sheets or in Excel um, and it can seem like a big mission to get them all into um, a new operating system but it's actually quite easy and I'm just going to show you how we can you know bulk import your existing data into your new Monday system so first of all you just want to create your actual board um, in this example I've created almost like a um, applicant tracking or an applicant list for say a job or anything like that um, so I'm just going to call this the applicant tracking board and I'm going to call the new items applicants. So we're just going to create that board. Now, the first um, step that you'll need to take once the board is created is essentially you need to mirror the same columns that you have in your current Excel spreadsheet um, or your CSV file um, so that they can map the columns correctly according to the existing existing data. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete these, um, I guess, pre-populated columns that Monday's put in there automatically. And this is going to be almost like a static board, so there's not going to be much movement on it. It's just so that we can have all of the um, applicants information in one place. So I'm just going to delete this extra group. Now, when you do put, um, when you do import your data it will create a separate group um, for that data so that's fine you can always change it later on so we're just going to start by um, popping in the associated columns that's going to match my current Excel spreadsheet um, so for me I'm going to have the applicants name here um, the next one down I've got is their age so I'm just going to pop in a numbers column and then I've got their email. So just gonna put an email column. I've got their phone number. So we'll just put a phone number column. So we've got a score rating from one to 10. I'm just gonna pop it in as a text column for now and I'll show you later how we can actually um, retroactively change it if we need to, if it comes in and it's not really the right column for tracking or for um, automations that we want to do later on we can always change that down the line and just lastly I'm going to pop in a date column which is the um, application date you could always pop in a files column if you wanted to upload a copy of their um, application as well so now what we want to do is we're going to pop in a new applicant but we're going to select the arrow and we're going to import now, um, I've just got a, a CSV file that I've created with some example data, but this is where you would actually upload your existing CSV or Excel file, which already has your um, business data or um, information in there. So I'm just going to select, and now you can see here it's going to ask, which column do you want to be the first column in your board, or and that acts as your item name. So I'm going to put the applicant's name to be the item name. Now you can see here, it's now trying to um, merge or map the columns with the existing Excel or CSV data. So you can see here, it's pretty intuitive. It's just selected over the ones that match. Now this one here, it got a bit tripped up. So you can see here, I've got my phone column. So I'm just gonna choose that. Um, it's cho chosen my text column for the score and the um, date for the date column. So that all works. If you don't have an existing column in your board already and it's trying to map the data, um, if it can't find anything, it will not import that information. So it's just really important before you try to do this step that you've already created the associated columns where that information can go. So I'm going to hit next now just about handling your duplicate information if you want to um, have a look at it all later just create them as new items so all of your duplicates will come in you can skip the data if it's matching an existing column 
or you can overwrite the existing data, but obviously we have none, so we're just going to choose create new items. And then we're going to give it a few seconds and it's going to import all of our data. So as you can see, this has all come through age, email, phone, score out of 10 and application date. Um, obviously, you could have miles and miles and miles of data um, depending on what you're trying to import over. Uh, once it comes through, then you can kind of start to tidy it up a bit. So for me, um, I want to change these date um, columns just so that they're all displaying the right way with the year in there. Um, and as I was talking about before, so we've got this as a score out of um, 1 to 10, and this is just text. So for example, if I wanted to create an automation that, um, you know, when a score comes in that's above 5 or um, when a certain number of score comes in with an applicant, it can trigger to then um, notify someone to contact that person. It can trigger a series of events um, through automation. But for this to work, we might want to change this to a status column, um, which is a bit easier to maneuver in those automation sequences. So all I need to do is click on the three dots and we want to change the column type to status. And you just need to let it think for a minute. And then you can see it's populated it over. If you're happy with that, keep the changes and it'll get rid of your text column. So now this is a status column. You can see it just leans a bit of visual aid for which ones are scoring five. You can see there's a couple there, a couple of eights. Um, and then again, just that, that interaction with your automations. So yeah, this is, um, it's super simple, super quick. Um, obviously it might take a little bit of data cleanup on your end before you get it into Monday, but honestly it takes no time at all and, and then the sky's the limit really with that data. Um, not really the same as, as the clunkiness of Excel or trying to keep your information in static areas. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for watching.